Okay, let's go to row five. I'll just make one quick point on row five. And I just mentioned this with seams, but I just said it. There's no right or wrong with seams, right? I don't care if it's deep left, short right, other way around, if you switch it based on the server. Have a philosophy on it, stick to it, organization's the key, and then communication about it. What I would say is by the time you have a starting lineup, it's probably not as basic as all six rotations look the same. If we want our libero taking a lot of balls, and this is just an okay passer, then she's taking both seams, right? It's not just this is what our team does. Maybe in preseason, this is what we do as a default. And then by the time we go, hey, in rotation two, this is our seams. And in rotation three, this is our seams, okay? Because we want our best passers taking the most amount of balls. If she can handle two seams, like short and deep, why would we not want her taking short and deep, okay? Instead of like, well, but the assignment is she takes this deep seam. Okay, that we just gotta get open-minded enough to make sure our best passers are passing the most balls. Um, so row five, this is the only point I was gonna make with row five. Go ahead and take a short ball, the way we talked about. If this hitter is really good on a slide, the most common mistake I see is that the setter kind of pushes, you know, she likes to be back, and we're pinning them to the, to the sideline too much, okay? I push both of our uh, players in so that she has a good runway to the slide. 